I'm going to give you a mile marker. I feel like part of my uh, job is to inform you. Are we go- what direction are we going in and how fast are we going? Let me give you a couple of stories here that are gravely, gravely concerning. Um, I told you last week the Soros Fund Management, um, you know, run by uh, billionaire George Soros and his son, have now taken uh, control or are on the verge of taking control uh, of Odyssey. Odyssey is the second largest radio broadcaster in America. Only iHeartRadio owns more. And thank God, at this point, uh, iHeartMedia, iHeartRadio, has uh, the premier radio networks. I've worked for this company in one way or another since 1989. They are my partner uh, with this broadcast, and they have been always very, very supportive. Uh, if it wasn't for my partners, uh, Julie Talbot and Dan Metter and, uh, and all of the people at iHeart Media, we, I'm just this show wouldn't be heard anywhere. Uh, so iHeart is the only one right now not under attack, and I'll tell you about this. First, Odyssey. Odyssey uh, amassed $1.9 billion in debt. They filed for bankruptcy. Uh, and now Soros uh, is taking on the, uh, the fund, and they will be the largest shareholder once the bankruptcy proceedings conclude. Where are we? They're dismantling radio and buying radio up. Now, Soros has already bought, what, last year, I think 50 radio stations that were all Spanish-speaking. Gee, isn't that interesting? Now he's buying up the second largest broadcaster uh, in America. Odyssey owns 220 stations, News Talk uh, in New York, uh, Chicago, Los Angeles, all of some of the biggest news talk stations in the country. They own the, the radio stations, <coughs> uh, including uh, KDWNAM in Las Vegas, PHT, Philadelphia, KDKA in Pittsburgh. They have Dana Lash uh, on many of their stations. They have Sean Hannity. They have Mark Levin and George Soros has spent more than $21 billion over the last few decades. He spent $1.3 billion in 2022 alone. Most of that cash went to left-wing causes, including Media Matters, Planned Parenthood, the Sunrise Movement. He's the guy who has put in the radical DAs and the radical attorney generals. And now, what? He's buying up talk radio. Why would you do that? Why would you buy all of these broadcasts? It seems like it's a failing industry, right? It's not. It's not. About 80% of the people still listen to radio. 80%. That's incredible. You think nobody listens to the radio. 80% still listen to the radio. Okay. So that is the second largest broadcaster, now going to George Soros. Then we have this, Cumulus. Cumulus used to be the ABC radio network. It used to be the largest. Now I think it is the third largest. Cumulus is facing a takeover from an investor based in Singapore. Part of the process of their bankruptcy Uh, It has asked for and received from the FCC permission to become as much as 100% foreign-owned. So the third largest broadcaster is about to go to a Singapore holdings company. How, How does this bid for America? You have George Soros and a Singapore company. And then iHeart all alone. But don't worry. News for radio gets even better. 
yesterday, Brendan Carr, he's an FCC commissioner, he came out and said the FCC has just ordered every broadcaster to start posting a race and gender scorecard that breaks down the demographics of their workforce. Activists lobbied for this because they want to see businesses pressured into hiring people based on their race and gender. Courts have already overturned the FCC twice for pressuring broadcasters into making hiring decisions in violation of the Constitution. I dissent. This is a shot across our bow now. If the Supreme Court doesn't stop them again, we will now, if I want to be on radio, have to disclose, by the way, I don't have a problem doing this. I'm almost 2% Native American, so <laughs> I'm a minority inside of a minority. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, anyway, um, we have to start hiring based on gender and everything else. I don't care what, you know, male, female. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't care what color you are. Really don't. I want to know what's inside of your head. I want to know how you think. Can you bring something different that I don't bring to the table? That's how I hire. Can you fit what your different thinking is into what I'm trying to accomplish? If you can, great. We're going to work together forever. Forever. Most of the people that I work with, and I apologize for this, spend their life working with me. Because we it have... It feels that way. Yeah, because we have a good working relationship. <laughs> we all respect each other. Again, except for Stu. <laughs> This is really, and let me give you another. Let me give you another one. This is not about radio. Vice Media stops publishing on Vice.com, slashes hundreds of jobs amid mainstream media death spiral. Mm -hmm. So all of these mainstream media companies, they're all. Did you did you hear about uh, CBS uh, and uh, Catherine uh, Heritage? Her How do you say her name? Heritage Heritage Heritage, right? I can't, I can't remember. Anyway, worked with her at Fox. We were obviously very close. Um, <laughs> but she's very, very credible. Uh, she's worked. I don't agree with her all the time, but she's an actual journalist. And CBS News, they just threw her out. She's gone. Now, they're saying that's because, you know, we've, we've laid you know, lots of people off recently because we're collapsing. <laughs> That's their, argue, that's their that's argument. That's their argument for, for themselves. Yeah, we're collapsing. Okay, well, maybe, or maybe a real journalist just isn't welcome there anymore. I don't know. But everything, all of the media, what I said to Stu, and when we were at the height of Fox, I said, we got to get out of here. And everybody's like, what? Everybody works their whole life to get here. And I'm like, we got to get out of here. So this whole thing is going to burn itself down. It's all going to collapse. And here we are. It's collapsing. But as I said at the time as well, if you're here while it collapses and you survive, you'll then be working for the government because all of these people will get bail. They'll get bailed out by the federal government. We can't. These institutions are far too important. It goes back to your Cloward and Piven stuff from yeah. yesterday. That is worth watching if you go to uh, your Blaze TV account you can watch it on demand um but it's it's one of those situations where like it, you know vice is a, a great example of this i mean vice how many articles did vice write about how you were your career and life was collapsing oh my gosh i, I can't even again. i can't even <laughs> over and over over again. and over again and they all these companies that have been that have been writing for years about how conservative media personalities were going to flame out and their you know their businesses were going to collapse are now all gone. They're yeah. just, you know, they've, they've all either dissolved or fired all their people and AI is writing their articles. I mean, it's, it is sure satisfying for me, <laughs> but it is, it is embarrassing for them. I would, I would assume. I mean, it's, it's a, I don't know, maybe they're all just, they've all moved on and they're all just taking money from the government and, and, and living at home now, but, uh, or, or working from home now, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like they, 
they are able to keep any of these things afloat despite, I mean, how much money did Vice get? Billions and billions of dollars of just free investment cash dumped into that place. Imagine if we had, if we would have had a oh hundred, uh, 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 a hundred million, just to, just a hundred million compared to the billions yep. that they had, mm-hmm. just a hundred million in fifty million in investment. Can you imagine what we could have done with it? Oh because God. we wouldn't have wasted it. Right? They just wasted it. Gone. I mean, and this is also while they're producing shows for HBO. I mean, they were handed Handed. a media empire with, let's be honest, no valid reason to be handed a media empire. I mean, like Vice did some interesting stuff early on. They did. They were kind of different. And then they just turn into the typical left wing news source uh, and we were supposed to sit here and be like, oh, wow, this is amazing. It's innovative. Look at this. Let's just throw money at these people. And what do they do? The place is gone, basically. We sat there for I don't know how many meetings. I sat with with big, big, big companies that were trying to figure out how we were doing it. And at the time, we were doing it more right than anybody else. We were still wrong, and we had no margin of error because it was all on me. Um, and... Uh, and they were trying to figure out, you know, what do we do? What do we do? And I remember sitting in meetings going, your numbers don't make sense. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, you know, I'm not an accountant. I'm really a, not a good businessman. But I can look at this and, and, and you're selling what for what? And how do you even know that's true? And it was all hype. It was all hype. Now all that hype is over and it's all falling apart. The mainstream media is falling apart. And look what's happening. You know, I just said recently, it's been quiet on the Western Front. It's been all quiet for quite some time in talk radio. Haven't really had any attacks on talk radio. Been squished with digital, but on talk radio, haven't had a single problem. That's new. What was that all about? They forget about us? No. No. They're just going to take it. They're just going to take it in public-private partnerships, uh, and they the left because our billionaires do nothing. Honest to God, our billionaires who believe in America, the only one that I know that is actually putting his money where his mouth is is, is Donald Trump. I mean, there's there's a handful. Yeah, I don't agree with that. There's a, there's some of these there's guys a are very there's a handful, very but active, the one not that, always publicly. Yes, but George Soros. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're going to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You want to stay in the shadows, that's fine, and I thank you for it. But get your friends to stand up. Why isn't... We know the power of talk radio. We know the power of radio. Where are our billionaires? Why aren't they stepping to the plate? Why? Anyway, uh, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to support your local radio station. The station that is is running this uh, program. Please support them. Please buy the advertising. If it, if you, I'm not asking you to buy something you don't need. If you hear somebody advertising something you like, okay, I, I need that or I'm looking for that, please go to that store or whatever. Local radio is critical critical you've got to have a local radio station that is not controlled by the borg we thank our sponsors and we thank our local radio stations our affiliates you're the heart of us thank you